Okay, so here's an example of the Udemy course that I placed for Excel formulas. So you can see over here the number of reviews that I've garnered for this course and the number of students enrolled in this course. And you can see on the right side that the price that I place for the Excel formulas course. Okay, so for Udemy, what's really important for the students is actually the review rating and the number of reviews that you've garnered for your course. So pretty much you have your the description on the right side, like number of lectures, how long is this course, okay? So actually this course started more of from a 40 minute course and then it expanded where I kept on adding new content as a got more students to this course, okay? So you could employ the same technique as well, start up small with your course, see if people would start enrolling to your course and if you see that it gets a lot of interest from other people, you can start putting in more effort, investing more time to it and expanding your course. Okay, and then this is a screenshot of the same Excel course in Skillshare. So what you can see over here, actually I have the class project tab open and more of, I just created a quick project for the student to try to mimic. I've also included the files in there and then also a screenshot that's showing, okay, this is what you want to accomplish in this course. So I created a VLOOKUP and then I use a Starbucks menu so that you could just like try searching for the prices of different kinds of drinks. So it's up to you to just create a really simple project for the student to apply the skills that you've taught in your course. So it's more of like something fun but at the same time also easy to work through, okay? So pretty much the same course right now that I've placed in Skillshare is also placed in Udemy. So they're using the same content. So it's more of like hitting two birds with one stone. And I'm also earning in both sides. And you can do the same thing too.